What's up, guys? I got a story time for y'all today. But now this story's from a real long time ago. So the memory's kind of hazy. It's a little bit fuzzy, bruh. But y'all weren't there to see the story, so it's okay. Let's just go ahead and dive into the story, bruh. Now, like I said, it was a long time ago. Maybe I was six, seven, maybe five. I don't know if I remember five. So let's say I was between six and eight. This was back at my old house before I moved. Yes! If you didn't know, I haven't always lived here. I used to live in Pflugerville, but that's kind of sidebar news, maybe. I don't know what that has to do with the story. So like I said, I was a little kid, and my mom used to buy like bagels, like heavy, like bagels were my go-to like breakfast food thing. So we would get up on like Saturdays or whatever and she'd make a bagel and then I'd be like, nom, 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 bagels and go about my day. So on this particular day, I remember I got a bagel and I got like some cream, strawberry cream cheese on one of them and like jelly, I think, maybe. That might, mm, maybe. Let's, yep, yeah, for the sake of the video, Strawberry cream cheese and jelly on two different bagels. Well, not like, you know how it's one bagel and then you... Look, bro, stop trying to impress me about the details. We have the two um, bagels, right? And so I had a comic book. I had a Wolverine comic book. I used to be super big into comic books. I had like comic books on comic books and I'd be like, ooh, yay. You know what I'm saying? But I would like never read them because there would be too much going on on each page. You know what I'm saying? I'd flip the page and all these colors and pictures and I'd be like, ooh. And I forget that there was words. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I never read any of those books. Like, to this day, we gave away those comic books. And I still never read any of them. Like, from the time that I got them to the time that we gave them away, I never read one of those comic books. True story. So, yeah, man, I had my comic book. I had my bagels. And I was sitting there, nom, 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 And then my mom was like, oh, it's time to go. And I was like, ah, ah, nom, nom, And as I'm doing that, some jelly and maybe... Quite possibly some strawberry cream cheese falls onto the comic book, the cover of the comic book. And my mom's like, let's go. And so I'm sitting here like, ah, 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 ugh. You know what I'm saying? I had to go. I was getting pressed. So we go about our day. We ended up at the store because that seems like how most of our days go to this day. We still always end up at the store. I don't know how, man. We be doing stuff that has nothing to do with the store and we still end the day. Going to the store. Why we always be in the store? I don't like grocery shopping. Anyway, ah, I've mentioned I don't like grocery shopping, right? I really don't like grocery shopping, like real life. All right, I'm gonna get back on task. Now, here we go. All right, so we go into the store. We do everything we need to do in the store. I don't have anything to complain about because I have my handy dandy Wolverine comic book with me the whole time, looking at pictures, not reading nothing. I'm chilling, bro. And we're back out at the car. Now, my mom always put me in the um, car first, and she'd have me all locked down, and then she would put the groceries into the car. I was already locked into the um, car seats, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. Um, so I guess a bee caught a whiff of the good smelling jelly or whatever was on the cover of the comic book. The bee mother said, oh, let me go ruin this kid's life. Zzz. So I'm chilling. And then I hear this buzzing noise, and I look up, and the bee's pressing me. He's in my face. He's like, where's the jelly at? Where's the jelly at? Where's the jelly at, bro? Y'all in my face and stuff. I'm like, ah, 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 ah. Mm. ah. I started freaking out, bro. Like, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and try to play off. I cried. I'm pretty sure I said many a tear. I cried. I freaked out. I wasn't having none of it. I was like, ah, ah. Because I don't know when they teach you that bee sting, but I had learned that bee stung. And I was like, I'm not going to fight this bee. I'm not going to swing at this bee. I'm just going to cry. I'm going to lose it. So all this is going down. My mom hears it. And she turns into super mom. Shout out to you, mom, if you're watching this video. I love you. Thank you for being a great mom. You know what I'm saying? So she comes through. Ah, ah. She can't get me out of the seat. I'm stuck. I'm over here crying. I'm freaking out. I'm, ah. At this point, I really don't know where the bee is. Like, I completely forgot. I don't know if the bee is still in the picture. But I'm freaking out, man. I'm just... Ah. Ah. I'm losing, bro. So, my mom, she makes an executive decision to take off the seatbelt or wherever was keeping the whole seat in. And she just takes the entire seat out and just, boom, plops it down. At some point, she ripped away the comic book. So now I'm sitting in the parking lot of H-E-B in my car seat, 
freaking out. I don't know where the comic book is. It's X-Men, okay? It's Wolverine, okay, mom? I don't know, bro. I'm over here just freaking out. I'm losing it, man. I'm losing it. I'm... Ah! <laughs> ah. And now I remember what happened after that. I think she put me back in the seat and the bee wasn't there anymore. I don't know. But that's a significant story because that is the reason why I don't like bees now. Like if me and you are chilling, we're hanging out, we're doing something, and a bee comes into like the vicinity, my whole demeanor would change. Sometimes I freak out, sometimes I try to be cool and I kind of just... Ah. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it affects me. I don't like bees, and I trace it back to this story. I also don't like things that fly in my face, and I trace it back to that story because I remember that bee, like, being right here and impressing me, and I was like, ah, ah, I couldn't do nothing, bro. So I don't like anything in my face. I don't like bees. So, um, maybe I was scarred. Maybe I wasn't scarred. But if your parents don't scar you, you don't have good parents, bro. You know what I'm saying, G. But anyway... But yeah, that's my story for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, when you have kids, they will be scarred by wildlife. It's not about how they got scarred, but it's about how you handle it. Because I think my mom is amazing for trying to be superwoman and help me out and pull me out of that situation. And so, thank you, mom. If you're watching this video, I feel like I said that earlier. So if you were watching the video earlier, you probably still be watching the video. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like, comment, share. Do all that fun stuff, man. Spoil the channel. Twenty seventeen. Y'all say it. God above all else. Dexterous is out.